we're serving a very low income area and uh, the nonprofits are really an integral part of this community. We're involved in helping um, to steward the dreams, the hardships and challenges of our community. We are driven by uh, local needs, local priorities, local people. Creativity and the performing arts are also part of the fabric of American culture. Hiring um, diverse um, individuals is, is critical. We need to be able to have representation from everyone. We take girls and really allow them the opportunities to learn and lead for themselves and learn those skills to, to advance whatever it is they're doing in their life. An organization that can help us with housing, an organization that help, can help us with immigration, an organization that can help us with violence, an organization that can help us with with our youth. We have a lot of um, ability to to adapt and to um, to make things work and be collaborators in our community and do the things that make sense. We're giving people the tools to be self-determining and we're also in, uh, challenging them to be leaders. The sun shines for everyone and we're really trying to demonstrate that solar is actually a really powerful tool in the fight against poverty. We have to be very innovative and we also have to work on inclusivity and we have to work on equity issues as well. When we talk about solutions, we have to remember that we're all human beings. And we've got a lot of work to, to do, but I think that this country is wealthy enough and I know this city is that it could actually solve these problems again with a commitment to to addressing those things head on. Diversity and inclusion. Nonprofit voice. Leadership development. Initiatives. Permanently addressing energy poverty. Become part of the solution. And that's what public media does. It allows the opportunity for voices to be heard.